Robert Rakes is a well-known name in Gloucester. He was a Christian businessman and philanthropist, and he was most famous for pioneering the Sunday School movement. My guide, Rita Appley, from Mary de Cripp Church, takes up the story. Robert Rakes was born in 1736 in the city of Gloucester. His father, also Robert Rakes, had started the Gloucester Journal in 1722. They visited the prisoners in Gloucester Prison. It was uh, part of the old uh, castle and in a ruinous state, and uh, more prisoners died from uh, illness than were actually hanged. And as we know, a lot of uh, prisoners were hanged in those days. By this time, Robert Rake Sr. had died, and Robert Rakes Jr. took over as uh, editor of the uh, paper. And in 1780, he was appalled to find ragged children running riot in the city. When he asked about them, he found that they worked six days a week in the local factories, very long hours, up to 12 hours a day, um, for only a pittance, perhaps half a penny a day. And he thought, well, if he could give these children some education, they would be able to get better jobs than their parents and hopefully keep them out of prison. Because from his prison visits, he'd realised that a lot of the prisoners had come from very poor families. So with his friend Tom Stock from St John's in uh, Northgate Street, he set about establishing Sunday schools here in Gloucester. At first there were two um, ladies, Mrs King and a Mrs Meredith from St Catherine's, who educated the children in their own homes. There was another school established here on the corner of Greyfriars. The purpose of the schools was to educate the children, to learn to read and write and simple arithmetic. But um, not everybody approved and they particularly didn't like the children being taught um, arithmetic. So that was dropped and only reading and writing. The original schedule for the schools, as written by Rakes, was the children were to come after 10 in the morning and stay till 12. They were then to go home and return at 1. And after reading a lesson, they were to be conducted to church. After church, they were to be employed in repeating the catechism till after 5, and then dismissed, with an injunction to go home without making a noise. Robert Rake's wife was famous for her plum cake, and as a reward, if the children did very well, they were given a piece of plum cake. The building opposite, the Robert Rake's uh, pub, is where the Robert Rake's uh, family lived, and uh, for a while also the paper was printed there. So the paper was very important in the story of Robert Rakes in Sunday schools because rather like Twitter and Facebook today, it publicised the movement of Sunday schools. Within two years, several schools opened in and around Gloucester. His work was so successful that he could record in the Gloucester Journal on the 3rd of November 1783 that the district of Gloucester had become quite a heaven upon Sundays. Later, word of the work spread through the Gentleman's Magazine and in 1784, a letter to the Armenian Magazine. The Sunday School movement spread rapidly to all parts of the country. In 1785, the Sunday School Society was formed. The Sunday School Union was formed in 1803, was a direct result of Rake's work. Adam Smith a Scottish economist and moral philosopher, gave the movement his strongest commendation. He said, No plan has promised to effect the change of manners with equal ease and simplicity since the days of the Apostles. There is a memorial to Robert Rakes in London on the embankment near Charing Cross commemorating the first hundred years of Sunday schools. His Sunday schools were the first move towards a state education system in Great Britain, and by 1831, one and a quarter million children were receiving education thanks to the work of Robert Rakes. Robert Rakes died on the 5th of April, 1811.